Two bros hanging out. Hey guys. Hello. Today we're going to be doing 10 things that get on our nerves. Quite a lot of things get on our nerves, but there's we just picked 10, ten things, things that are usually there get on our nerves. daily. Yeah, like <clears throat> yeah, daily occurrence, yeah. yeah. Number one. People that walk slowly in public. <laughs> Okay now, okay, I'm such a fast walker. Oh my god, I find it so hard to keep up with Laura. Because like, yeah, I'm really tall, so like I have like a really long stride. But even though I, I walk fast compared to a normal person, but she walks extra fast. I get like hip injuries trying to keep up with her. So then, when people are walking slowly, and it stops me from walking fast. Like you said there was that old lady that stopped right in front of you and you almost fell on Yeah, her. like literally. <laughs> She was probably like really short, so like probably like here. Yeah, like she just stopped and I was like walking like I was on a mission and I literally nearly fell over her and I was like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> that could have been a really bad accident. Could have been. And like a load been, of people would have had to And it would have been my fault that. because I crashed into her yeah, exactly. she was only stopped. It was like, yeah, it's dangerous. Exactly. Definitely dangerous. Just inside my head I'm like, oh my God. Would you walk mm. fast, please? Number two, when people don't try and they give up really easily. Just try and you don't know if you're going to be good at it. Like at the beginning you might be bad, but who's to say like you might still be, you might be good after a few weeks or a few months. And if you don't stick to it, then you're not, you're never going to know. Exactly. And it's just the fact that some people aren't even bothered to just yeah. do anything. But it could be good for them and they could, they could be good at it. Right, basically. If somebody like throws a ball and then they walk, they they watch the, they literally you see them. They watch the ball mm. come past them and they're like, oh look, the ball, and then they just watch it there. Yeah, they just, no effort. It like s s on the floor, oh, like, and it's a team game as well. Like you're letting your team down. It's not just exactly. it's not as if it's just you and you're just letting yourself down. It's like you're letting everyone down. So it's not really fair. I'm really thirsty. Same, I may as well just do it. That was nice. Number three, attention seekers. Now you can get a lot of different Types. kind of ways you can attention seek, um, but it's especially on like social media mm -hmm. sites. Um, Instagram. Yeah. Posting pictures of yourself. Mm -hmm. Oh no, commenting when people are like, oh you're so pretty. Like, no, <laughs> shh, shh, no, 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 stop it. Yeah. I'm so <laughs> ugly, but you're beautiful. Like, no, you're, have you seen yourself in the mirror? You're I'm gorgeous. No, look at you. <laughs> it's like, just accept the compliment, say so, thank you. You could compliment them back if you want. You're clearly asking for more for them yeah. to say even more comments to say you're beautiful because you just want to hear it so much. Yeah, and it's like, and like if, if you've got about 50 comments on your picture like half of them are you yeah. replying back saying 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 so thank you oh they only you're pretty no oh my god i'm not pretty it's like just like just take the compliment or people aren't going to compliment you anymore when people post stuff about their relationship like mm. i love him like all the oh time. she's so beautiful oh my god he's my babe it's like i'm gonna love him forever <laughs> next so week it's all over four Number four, this is uh, like a very invitation easy. on yeah. Facebook, invitation. people inviting you to stuff, right? We all get, that all gets on our nerves, but the thing is, people just like, meow chat is the Recently, yeah, thing. meow chat. I've been getting so many notifications every day. Like what people are doing, so they're mm -hmm. writing statuses about it saying, oh, stop inviting me to meow chat, it's getting on my nerves. But the thing is, is people aren't generally sending out these requests or invites it's the app doing it because when you sign in for an app it says um like accept to post on your behalf and you have to accept it to carry on so that's when you're accepting that you're accepting them to post on your wall to send invites to people so it's not genuinely them sending the invite so like take a chill pill it's don't connect these apps to facebook, facebook. yeah if i ever see an app yeah. that says Oh, do you want to connect to Facebook? I'm like, hell no! Right. No. Oh, we don't want to be offensive for this next no. one. Okay, right. Right, number five is um, smoking in public. Actually, every time we walk by someone smoking, we kind of do a like, little cheeky like, cough. Like, <laughs> 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 so 
if they notice anything. They usually just give you a little stare like, like oh my god, do I even care? Yeah. But so um, we were in town the other day and this man just like cut in front of us and like just gave like the massive puff yeah. and it was like it was gross. I hate it. Number six. This is a big one for us. Big one for us. <laughs> when adults don't believe your children. Not believe, like, don't believe your children. Don't believe that we are children. Yeah. They don't think we're children. Yeah, they don't think we're children. So, like, we'll go somewhere and be like, can I have, like, a child ticket? Or, like, on the bus, you're like, can I have a child? Child single. So they're like, I'm sorry, um, no. It's like, you're clearly not it, a child. No. Adults, yeah. you mean. It's like, well, no. I'm a child. Yeah. Let me get on your bus for a child. Yeah. Okay, the other day. Do you want me to bring my ID? Yeah. yeah, and the, oh, yeah. the ID we They ask the for ID. It's like, uh, what do you oh, expect me to be carrying and, around? And when we went to Topshop the other day, the guy was like, do you have a student card? Oh yeah, he asked me if I have a student card. I'm like, no, no, I don't. I don't have a student card, no. Okay, the other day, we went to the cinema to watch Fault in Our Stars, which was literally, we watched it so late. Like, yeah. we were like, the only people who haven't watched it. Yeah, we watched it, there was probably about 10 people in the cinema, which was pretty good. But we went up to the man, we said, well, Olivia went first. She said a child ticket to see the Fault in Our Stars. And he he charged, charged her an adult. adult. Yeah. Okay, then I went and I said a child, like I made it they even clearer. It. I said, can we still have a child ticket to see the Fault in Our Stars? And he still charged me an adult. A few weeks previous to that, we went to go see 22 Jump Street and we got asked if we were 15. Like they were, they weren't sure if we were 15. Yeah, and then which automatically when you go and watch a film that's a 12, they want to charge you for enough. Number seven, people that push in line. So you're just like in the queue, you've just made your purchases and you're waiting to leave, which is probably quite a thing that you want to do quickly because mm -hmm. you want to get out. And then suddenly this random person just oblivious to everything, just pushes in front of you. It's like when we were at the airport, we were at the airport, we're and we were we were queuing for that vending machine for the water, and that random yeah. lady just came and pushed in. Spanish lady just pushed in, <laughs> and like we just like ranting about this woman. Yeah, like, we were like, oh my how, god, how like, dare she push us in? We were trying to like we're trying to catch a plane. We're going to be a bit late. We need some water. We're we really literally had thirsty. like ten minutes, and we had to go to the toilet as well. Yeah. And everything. Number eight, eight. kids Lit. that stare. Yeah. You're just in town or anywhere, just doing your business. And you're just like, conscious. and then you just catch this kid just staring at you. So you, you just ignore it and you look back and they're still staring. You carry on and they're <laughs> still staring. And you, just, and you just like end up making like really ugly faces to them, like telling them to like leave. <laughs> But without saying anything, <laughs> the parent doesn't know because yeah. they're turned away and you're like, as soon as they turn back, you're like, this. It's like a secret agent. <laughs> and then when they're looking away, you you're just like, make evils to their kid. Number nine, people that think they're better than everyone else. You're not better than me. So shut up. So if you've done, if you've achieved something, you're like, oh yeah, I got like something on a test or I did this and I got this, they're like, well, yeah, but I got this. I don't care! They just lie about it. Like, they pretend that they've done better, so they seem better, but they're actually not. Yeah. And that's really, really annoying. And then, when it comes to proving it... They can't. They can't, because they just made it up. All oh, right. So, like, when they're, like, telling you constantly that... They're amazing. They're amazing, and you're rubbish or something. Like, I'm not rubbish. Or at least I'm trying to do something well, but you're just telling me I'm bad. Number 10 is very annoying to us. Every day stares at school. Goodness me. Okay, so we went to a secondary school in year seven and year eight, and then we moved to a new secondary school in year nine. We've just finished year nine, so we've been there for a year. At our old school, the structure was very simple. You went up on the left side of the stairs and you went down on the right side of the stairs. When we got to our new school, we were like, what the hell is there's this There's no structure whatsoever. Sometimes there's three people coming down the stairs or upstairs, like coming down and up at the same time. And, and you're trying to like sneak up the side. Yeah. And, and well, like, like people just don't I, I might be walking up the stairs like, 
with like quite a few bags sometimes as well. Bags and and up the There's three people walking down the stairs, taking up the whole width of the stairs. They see me coming. We make eye contact. I'm like, yeah, I'm here. They're like, okay. And they carry on walking carry down on. So in like, my pathway. Like so I'm like, shit. well, against, against the, the side yeah. of the stairs. Literally, just go up on the left and down on the right. That's been our 10 things I get on our nerves video. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. The video. <laughs> <laughs> Remember to like and subscribe to our channel <laughs> and our social media <laughs> links are in the description down below. So, yeah. See you in our next video. Cheerio. Bye. Bye-bye now.